Well, hello. Uh, welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to look at the vSphere uh, troubleshooting. Some of the problems that you might encounter uh, trying to set up vSphere uh, with a nested lab or any of the labs. Uh, we went through this nine lab series uh, over a few days. And now I want to talk about some of the troubleshooting and some of the problems that you might encounter while you were trying to do this lab. Uh, primarily doing uh, live migrations. This is where most of the difficulty seems to lie. Uh, vSphere nested uh, ESXi lab is fairly easy to set up using the vCenter server appliance. Uh, with the vCenter server appliance, we don't have to set up the uh, Active, do, do, uh, Active dom or Domain Controller or Active Directory. Uh, so it, it simplifies it quite a bit. However, some problems or issues can arise and provide some challenges to solve. I've included some common problems and their resolutions that you might encounter. Let's get started. The first one. The uh, first one we're going to be, uh, and again, this is primarily for migrating. We're going to be migrating uh, a virtual machine from one host to the other. Uh, you might see something like this. Uh, currently connected uh, network interface network adapter 1. I uh, cannot use the network uh, VM network because the destination network or the destination host is configured for different offload or security policies uh, that the source network or host or on the, on the source host. Uh, this is uh, a problem uh, in the security uh, with the promiscuous mode. Uh, when we're doing the nested uh, ESX, ESXi lab, this has to be changed from reject to accept on all of the uh, on all of the NICs. Uh, we need to set to promiscuous mode and needs to be set to accept instead of reject. So just hit this down arrow, go to accept, and select that. But you'll need to change all your switches uh, in your network so that they're all set to promiscuous mode, and that will remove that error so that you can migrate. Another area that you might see, a general system error occurred. The vMotion uh, migrations failed because the ESXi hosts were not able to connect over the vMotion network. Uh, connect the vMotion network settings and physical network configuration. This could be another error that you might see. Simple solution, uh, we have the wrong network address. Now the vMotion should be on its own network and I have set it up originally as 192. 168.2.80. I changed it to 3 and caused that uh, general error for the vMotion. Some more errors that you might encounter. Down here we've got 3. Again, we're trying to do a migration, live migration uh, from one host to another. Uh, here we're unable to uh, access the virtual machine configuration, unable to access the, uh, the, the shared storage, and looking for the different files which are part of the uh, VM for the uh, Windows 2003. Uh, that would be where you have lost access uh, to free NAS or uh, maybe you have uh, on another one here maybe we have uh, unable to access our files on the data store one. Well, the data store one is not the shared storage so if for some reason you've moved uh, your files for your VM to the uh, data store instead of the free NAS or the shared storage, you would also get these errors. These errors are easy to fix. All we need to do is uh, either re-enable the free NAS or change our files or move our files from the data store one back to the free NAS. That would correct that problem. Uh, here we're just showing you that we would go back and do a migration, but this time we would just change the data store, not the host and we would move the, the data store from data store 1 back to free NAS. Another problem that you might see, the virtual machine is configured to use a device that prevents the operation. Device is CD uh, or DVD drive and it is connected. Uh, the drives cannot be connected. You need to go back and remove that. And That's easy to do. We just go back uh, to our VM, open up a console, come up here and click on this little icon for the CD DVD and come down here and disconnect whatever it's attached to. Once you've disconnected it then you'll be able to complete your migration. Uh, another problem that you might see and this actually is not a big problem but you might see it uh, no guest OS heartbeats are being received. Either the guest operating system is not responding or VMware tools is not configured correctly. If you try to do your migration before uh, the VM is is completely turned on and, and rebooted, uh, you might see this uh, heartbeat problem. 
uh, it's looking for uh, the, 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 the VM and the VM needs to be operating. Also it could be uh, VMware tools is not configured correctly. Remember we need to have VMware tools installed on all our VMs and that will relieve this problem. Another uh, migration error, migration virtual machine, a general system error occurred. Uh, again, we are failing a live migration. Uh, this would be maybe a resource problem, and here normally this is uh, selected unlimited uh, for our resource allocation. And with a restricted like this, uh, the VM, would, VM wouldn't be able to run, and it would also cause that error for migration. Uh, here are some warnings and some alerts that you might see here. This, this last warning is the inefficient uh, vSphere HA failover resources, and that's an easy one to correct, but we should have selected that during our uh, original configuration of the HA and the DRS when we, when we created our cluster. Another couple of alerts here you would, might see is uh, if for some reason the host was to go down, you would see a power state interruption and the host status error. These are actually alerts, and the last one is just a warning. And to correct that warning, we would just go back into our cluster, edit cluster features. Uh, going into the HA, we would, this is the default setting. We don't want the default setting. We would select the percentage of resources reserved as failover. So we'd just collect, we'd select that one. Uh, you might see a purple screen of death. Uh, instead of a blue screen of death, VM, we, they've got purple screens. Here I was trying to configure a host or an ESXi and I didn't set enough memory. One gigabyte of memory is not enough. Uh, you need uh, four for 5.5 and you can get away with uh, a little bit more than two, about 2.2 gigs uh, for the ESXi 5.1. But one is not enough and you will get a purple screen of death or other errors trying to uh, install. So that's it uh, for the problems that I've been encountering and some of the more common problems that you might see in their resolutions. Uh, if you have any other problems or configuration issues, uh, you just drop me a, a note and I will try to help you to solve those. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck on the lab. Hope you're able to get it configured and working properly and good luck on any search that you might be trying to take. Thanks for watching. See you next time.